The Ring video doorbell is quickly becoming my favorite smart home camera. And I've just discovered seven hidden features of the Ring doorbell that will give you even more use from the camera. I'm gonna share them with you right now. Start the show. You're watching Life Automated with Owen Video. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we cover the latest and greatest in home automation. Today, I wanna share with you some cool things I learned about the Ring camera, starting with tip number one. You can watch your Ring camera live on a desktop PC or Mac device. This is a really convenient way to check in on your Ring doorbell without having to wait for the app to load. And you can have this window running on your PC all the time and you can check in whenever you'd like. Streaming on a desktop works for every model of the Ring doorbell, although it does use a ton of battery life, so you may wanna skip this feature if you're not hardwired into your doorbell. Let me show you how to set this up. First, go to the link that's in my description box and download the software for your PC or for your Mac. Then open up the software and set up your Ring device. Once that's done, you can stream your Ring device on your computer just like you see on your screen now. That brings us to tip number two, and this is one of my favorites, and that is quick replies. Your Ring doorbell can now deliver quick replies to anybody who rings on your doorbell when you're not home or not able to answer the door. You can select pre-recorded messages that will automatically be spoken by a when someone rings the Ring doorbell device. package outside. If you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Hey everybody, I'm here and I'm leaving you a message on my Ring doorbell. This is something that you can turn on or turn off and it's really easy to set up in your app. Amazon gives you six pre-recorded messages that you can choose from and you don't need to have a Ring Protect subscription plan in order for this feature to work, but if you do have a Ring subscription plan and it's only like four bucks a month, then your visitors actually have the ability to leave you a message right there at your doorbell. And those recorded messages will show up in your events timeline inside of the Ring app. So think about how cool that is for a second. You're in the bathtub drinking a glass of red wine and I'm not here to judge you for that. When somebody knocks at your door, they ring the doorbell and says, Hi, this is Alexa. May I know the purpose of your visit? And then your visitor can simply leave you a message like this. Packages for Smith? Pretty cool, right? Let me show you how to set it up. You first just go into your app, select the pause time, select your message, and you're all done. Currently, this works on all models of the Ring device, but it's being rolled out very slowly. And the one downside that I found is that currently you're not able to record your own custom voice messages. Let's move on. Hidden feature number three are rich notifications. This feature does require a subscription and you can turn it on or off from within your app. But when your Ring alert detects motion, Ring will send an alert to your mobile device along with an image of what's happening at your front door. So you don't have to log into the app just to check it. You can open up the thumbnail image, stretch it to see detail. And although it does not store that thumbnail inside the Ring app, the feature does work on some models of the Apple Watch, which makes it really easy to check your watch and see who's at the door. This is really easy to set up, although the instructions on the Ring website are wrong. Naughty, naughty. Simply go inside the Ring app, click on your device, click notification settings, and turn the feature on. Tip number four. You can link your different Ring devices to each other inside of the Ring app to create a network of smart routines and smart alarms that work without so for example, if your Ring floodlights detect suspicious activity in your driveway, it can trigger your Ring device to start recording and you can even set up your Ring to send you a text alert or notification so you can check your property and make sure everything's okay. And all of these video events are stored inside the Ring app. Now this is a really cool feature for creating a home security network, but the downside is it only works with Ring produced devices. You can create these routines with non-Ring devices, but you'll need to use your for that. 
Tip number five is you can tap into the Ring Neighbors Network where you can see activity on other Ring devices. Now this one gets a little police state, so stay with me. Ring has created a secondary app called Neighbors where neighbors can upload their Ring footage in the event of a crime happening. Using this app, your local police force can also request footage from you, but you have to give them permission. And that footage could be used to prosecute a dangerous criminal. You can either download the neighbor's app separately or access the, the incident map from inside the Ring app. From there, you can look at your neighborhood area and actually see footage from other people's cameras. Ring customers within the specified area are able to share their videos in response to a request for assistance post where you can help the police solve a crime. But before you can complete the sharing of any video, you must explicitly agree to share the videos that you have selected, knowing that your address will be published to the incident map. And this is the big downside for me is that I don't really need people knowing where I live. So even though this feature's existence is kind of cool in concept itself, I'm not sure I'm ready to jump in with both feet and expose my data to that big of an audience. After all, if you're reporting that cars get stolen in your neighborhood, then you're basically advertising publicly on the web to other carjackers that you have a good neighborhood for stealing cars. Something you might wanna think about. That brings us to tip number six, you can connect your ring to a separate Wi-Fi network within your home so that if your internet ever goes out from your laptops or main computers or smart TVs, your security cameras continue to work. This is really easy to do on most modern dual band routers. If you have a 2.4 gigahertz and a five gigahertz signal in your house, I would recommend putting your laptops and your smart TVs all on the five gigahertz while putting your ring cameras and really your entire network on the 2.4 gigahertz. So if your five band gets breached, you can turn it off while your security system keeps working. And finally, tip number seven, the big kahuna, is that you can set up advanced ring alert notifications using if this then that. IFTTT.com is a website that creates automations for your smart home that can work with online softwares like Gmail, your text messaging, and even some of your business apps like Slack. Yeah, it's cool. Now seriously, connecting your ring to If This Then That gives you unlimited possibilities, but one of my favorites is that you can program your ring to send you a text alert when it detects motion. This is perfect for me when I'm out of internet coverage area because I have Sprint. Ugh. And so I might have cell phone coverage where I can receive a text, but I can't reach internet. If that were the case, then I wouldn't get my ring alerts. But with this automation, when my ring alert goes off, ring will send an email to my phone, which shows up as a text message. And I'm perfectly secure, even when I'm in Yellowstone, enjoying time with my family. Now down in the description box, I put a link to some of the automations that I think you'll really like. So you may wanna check those out, but I've also got a free guide that reviews my favorite Amazon Alexa and Ring routines, and you can download that in the description box as well. Now, if you wanna see how to set up your Ring doorbell with your other Alexa smart home products, then watch the video that's on your screen now. I'll go into a very cool process for you. I think you're gonna love it. So click on the video now. I'm Owen, and I'll see you there.